just to close on the fights people want to see. Yes. Is Comey a war? When you when you look at his style and, what, and of course what you bring to the table, is that a war? Yeah, all these guys are, man. Uh, all the world champions, it's a war, man. Definitely gotta make these fights happen. That's why I want it. I like a fight. I like competition. So, Comey, Beltran, Loma, Luke Campbell, the list goes on and on. Those guys are definitely ones to look into, man. Uh, those guys are, will make a war, you know? they make it fun. I like it, man. I love it. I love what I do. To get and to the bottom of it, though, why are you better than all of them? To get to the bottom of it, why am I better than all of them? I honestly... It's... A lot of people see me as just strong. I'm powerful and everything. And I come forward and... But technically, you guys don't even know. Like, the thing that makes me laugh is that the fans... I'm only giving you guys what I want y'all to see. I'm actually a natural fire, uh, boxer. I'm a natural boxer. I'm not a come forward guy, but I can do both. When you, I have, the thing that makes me different from everybody, from all of them is that I don't have just one tool. I have so many in line. If plan A doesn't work, I got plan B. Plan B doesn't work, I got plan C. By then, if plan C don't work, I got plan D. So I have so many different ways of adapting to a fighter and everything. I think that is what sets me different from all of them. Everybody only has, has been seeing me come forward and go in and knock them out. My father can tell you right now throughout my whole career. Hey, coach. Coach. That was just Conor McGregor right there. Who's this? <laughs> okay. What am I naturally? Style-wise. Style-wise. A boxer. Thank you. I ain't had to. Box. Nobody has tested us, you know? So why, why are we going to... Oh, we're gonna hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. That's that's not you know uh, until the day comes that we get tested and put them will box. You know, I, what the hell people no, we knock out. We'll box, but aggressive. We yeah. won't box. Oh, yeah, but we still box. You know, we won't box where we hit him. and run. If you see him box, I mean, you gotta be smart to see him because if you don't know boxing, you you only see a guy going forward. Right, getting knockouts. I mean, he, he he knows he's he's a calculated boxer. Both, you know, he's, he's not getting hit, you know, and, and people go crazy when he gets hit once or twice because he hardly gets hit. You know? So with that being said, Pops, uh, and Tiafimo, does that mean the way Lomachenko fight, you know, he, he goes forward and side to side, he don't fight off the back foot. Does that play into his hands then? Because he's naturally a guy who is a boxer. Well, Floyd like, is going to, I mean, uh, Lomachenko is going to be our easiest task because he's too small. He's too small. There ain't no way Lomachenko got nothing to push his back, you know? And that's why I tell everybody, the, the, the better the competition, the easier it's going to be for us. You know what I'm saying? Because he knows how to read boxers that know how to box. Yeah, like I told you before, it's a rhythm. Everybody has a rhythm. Catch it. All your own mind. After. And he's definitely a rhythm fighter. Yeah, Loma a rhythm fighter. Right. He has to have that. You know, we that's fought Diego Magdaleno. He was ranked number 10. You know, then we fought Eddie Sadley. He was ranked number 3. Two-time uh, two uh, European world champion. He was ranked number three in the WBO, you know, so we fighting ranked dudes, but everybody, all the social media, gotta say, oh, no, he ain't fighting nobody. He ain't fighting nobody ranked yet. You know, how we how we got to the top? How we got this title eliminated? We gotta beat the guys that are ranked. Or is it that they see the talent and they're so impatient, they're like, throw the kid, nah, they you know, throw like, the kid in there now. They don't like to see a guy that's so confident in me and confident in him when he goes in the ring, and they just hate that. They just wanna see him fall. You know, and that's not gonna happen. You can sit down with your popcorn and wait like 20 years, it's still not gonna happen. You know, he's never gonna lose, you know. You got these guys beating like number 13 guy uh, rank. When nobody questions them, you know, they for nobody. And they're already high rank, you know. And you know who I'm talking about. So, when, when they fight these guys, they don't even mention the rankings or nothing. They say, oh my God, this guy's the next big thing in boxing because, um, the media's prejudice. It is, you know. They don't like Hondurans? People from Honduras? It's not about no, that. No. It's just, they don't like me. No. Uh, no, no I, I wouldn't say prejudice. Because I say, I say I wouldn't say prejudice. I say more so bias. Right? You have, and everybody has their fan, their, their picks of who they like and their favorite of. There you and go. That's, that's just it. it so it's not prejudice, it's more yeah, so Let me tell the bias. world right now, Eddie right. Sadly was ranked number three and we made it look easy, all right? But you know, look, and, look. You know, nobody has we got, stopped that. This dude. guy, this guy that we're fighting, he's number two, I'm number three in the IBF. Um, actually, if we really wanted to, no, he's number three, I'm number four. Because the IBF, if you look at it, they don't have number one, number two, not rated for they some reason. It. They're uh, the number one, They're number vacant? two, yeah, rankings okay, okay, in the IBF. Rankings. 
So if you actually really look at it, so he's number fight, one, I'm number fight. two. Right, right, right. You know? So, yeah. but we're in all all four body stations. We're top three. Yep. Wow. In all four. Dang. Or at least well, one of them we, is five. We ranked or four ourselves together. Least, yeah. You know, we fought our way. And look, we have a lot to grow. We have a lot to do. But as of right now. I'm doing what I have to do. I'm knocking people out, looking great doing them, and we're gonna keep it going. So no matter what they say, what they, whatever keeps saying what you guys say, Tio Fimo is fighting for a world title this year, getting his world title this year, and then getting all four belts next year. You know, whether yeah, everything goes well with yeah. my weight, yeah. uh, Michelle, perfecting yeah. athletes. Yeah.